Hi everyone. Well, as you can see here, I am going to attempt to do a uh, process video on how I make my own um, uh, dress form stick pin cushion or pin cushion. And this is using the, the pattern um, that I printed out from the DIY dish. They call it the dress form mannequin pin cushion. So I, <clears throat> I will put the links down in the video to their tutorial and where you can actually get their pattern as well. And um, so I've already pinned it to my material and I've already cut it out. And um, this is actually my third pin cushion that I've made already using um, this template and I love it. I've seen so many tutorials on how to do dress forms and to be honest, I like this one the most. Um, it looks a lot like the pin cushions that you could pick up at Joann's. Um, they're dress form ones. Um, I guess they're, they're limited quantity ones. So I really like doing these a lot. And um, I there is a trick that they really don't explain um, when it comes to sewing or pinning around the chest area, the chest area. So, I will get to that later when it's time. But, um, so here I have, what I did is, let me go ahead and take out these pins here. Okay, so what I did here is, I, the material, um, I folded over the material like this. I don't know if you if that's what you guys have done, those that have made these. But um, this is the first time I actually folded over. Usually what I would do is I would pin it, um, cut one piece, and then I would flip this over, pin it again, and cut another piece. That's an extra step. So I didn't want to do that anymore. And I, you know sometimes a little slow up here <laughs> so um, I folded it over and uh, I added the pattern pinned it and then I cut it so okay so what we're gonna do now is let me go ahead and take off the pins on this as well Okay, so this is this is the front and this is the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this to the right side, the back to the right side, and um, the front is going to be on the wrong side. And what I'm going to do is what they explain on, on the video, on the DIY dish tutorial, is you um, go ahead and you align these from the neck to the shoulder and then you start to sew um, from the top of the neck all the way to the shoulder and you stop at the shoulder and you do that on both sides okay so I want to be sure that my material is aligned correctly and I don't want it to get crooked while I'm sewing because I am not a professional sewer. Um, so I am going to go ahead and pin this. And um, usually they recommend that you take out your pins while you're sewing. I don't because they say you, you, you could break your needle. I haven't had any problem with my needles breaking. So, um, I just keep sewing. So, I'm pinning right now. And I usually pin it this way, um, going diagonal, diagonal like that. Um, that's how I pin it. And it'll be easier, um, to sew. Okay. And 
and then I'm going to pin it on the other side as well well actually no actually I'm gonna work it one section at a time I'll be easier that way that's how I usually do it so alright let me go ahead and bring my sewing machine and what I usually do is I sew um, to uh, I believe this is a quarter of an inch right here as far as the sewing machine <clears throat> there's <clears throat> There's the feet right here, the little jaw, throw a little teeth right here, and then the first line. So that's that's my seam allowance. I, I, I use that as my guide, the first line. Okay, so let me go ahead and start. And I will not backstitch. I'm just going to keep sewing. So let me go ahead and align that. Okay, Let's see if I can find my pedal. And I'm very slow when it comes to sewing. how it looks it looks really nice so all right now I'm gonna work on the next side <clears throat> on the other side and I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to start pinning Hope you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this light. Okay, so I got my other side pinned and I'm going to start sewing now. Going to make sure I align it to the first line just so it's both even on both sides. Going to remove the pins. Let me trim it. the threads okay so now this is how it looks 
okay so now I'm going to start sewing adding the breast um, um, the breast the side area I'm going to start adding the one side so I'm going to choose my one side and I'm going to start pinning and what you want to do is on the pattern there's a little black line right here so you cut when after you pin your uh, material on it you cut that little notch you know you just you know snip it and that's going to be your guide when you're going to pin it around the bodice so I have my material already a little notch right there so I am going to meet that to the seam of the, the bodice okay so I am going to meet that to the seam right there and I'm going to start pinning so I'm going to pin on the top and then I'm going to um, I'm just going to put, place one pin on the top but then I'm actually going to start pinning from the bottom because as you go up upwards you're going to start forming the bodice to the side so then you just start pinning from the bottom and I'm actually going to speed speed up the video until I get towards the curve or the waist area okay so now I've already pinned up to almost to the waist now I'm trying to look um, I'm looking at it and trying to align it together the both materials and I'm trying to straighten out the seam trying to straighten out the material so I could start pinning and it won't gather the material won't gather so I'm pinning from the top now you do have to play with it a little do a little bit of stretching of the material that's how I do it and when it doesn't work out after I sew and I notice that it's a little crooked or the material is a little gathered at a certain point place um, I have had to take the seams apart and start all over again but that's just me I like I know it's not perfect but I like it well made and especially if I'm giving it away or selling it I want to be sure that it's well made because in turn it's a reflection on you you know what I'm saying okay so I've started from the from the top again and then um, as I was stretching the material I went ahead and I pinned it in the middle where the waistline is at and now I'm going to start pinning a I pinned it right here in the middle I hope you can see right there now I'm gonna pin here and pin here and actually I'm doing this um, process video because it was a special request that I got 
on my first pin cushion that I made and um, this request was from let's see Aya Shin. Hi Aya. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, that's how we say it in um, I'm pronouncing it the Spanish way. <laughs> so um, yes this is for Aya Shin or Ai Shin and um, so I hope you're enjoying this tutorial or this uh, process video. So okay so now I've worked, I have everything pinned. Now I'm going to start sewing and I'm going to sew starting from the bottom towards the top. Bring my machine. And again, I'm going to sew, um, I'm going to use the first line, the first one closest to the teeth. I'm going to use that line as my guide. I am not going to back stitch. I'm just going to sew forward. Okay. Straighten it out to be sure that it doesn't any no extra material catches on to it. sold it to the top so now I'm going to remove this and take a look and see how it looks looks good okay let me remove the pins Okay, so what I did, I removed the pins and now I'm opening it up and I want to make sure that there's no gathered material by the seam and I, it looks really clean and I really like that. I really like how it looks. So now I am going to start pinning the other side and here because there's actually the breast part is a little tricky. So I'm going to start pinning from the bottom and I'm going to um, speed it up a little bit and then once I get to this area right here, the breast section, then um, I will show you my little trick. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so I already pinned it and now I need to pin this breast area but before I start pinning the breast area I'm going to start pinning from the bottom to the tip right here to where the breast begins to form. So I'm going to start pinning it there.
Okay, so I've already begun to pin, and it's all pinned up up here on the chest. Now, on the breast area, this is what you do. I like to make sure that the fabric aligns with each other. Then I like to start pinning from the center, from the tip of the chest area, the breast area. So I pin there and then I start going outwards, making sure that the material meets. I'm not sure if that's what gives a lot of you um, problems, but the first time I made that, um, I made this, it gave me problems. So that's my little tip. Okay, she's all pinned up. Now I'm going to start sewing her. And um, I'm gonna start from the bottom again. And I wanna be sure that when I start sewing her, I don't grab the other part of the material, the other side that's already sewn, okay. Actually, let me pin that just to be sure. Begin, and I'm going to start using the first line closest to the teeth as my guide. Okay, let's take a look at it. She looks good. Let me go ahead and remove the pins. Okay, so let's go ahead and open her up. Oops, I got one more pin here. And I don't like it. This is exactly what I was talking about. Right here. Right there. It gathered. And I don't like that. 
it's not smooth so when you start to um, stuff her it doesn't look right so what I'm going to do I'm going to rip the seam from here to here so I don't waste the whole thing and I'm going to repin it again and sew it again be right back okay can't find my seam ripper so I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm just gonna be extra careful Okay. So let me go ahead and pin that. I took a little bit of the seam apart and I'm going to re-sew it. So I'm going to pin it in the center cuz it looks like it wants to gather and I don't want it to gather so I'm going to keep that material put okay perfect so I'm going to start sewing from the bottom I'm going to I am this and this time I am going to back stitch so I can lock the seam and then um, lock the threads and then I'm going to sew forwards and I'm going to back stitch again up here so I can lock the seam so it doesn't open up when I start stuffing okay so let's begin I see why that happened. It cross crisscrossed. And a crisscross stitch. I fixed it so let me remove the pins and hopefully it should look better now let's go ahead and open her up
and she looks much better much better okay so let's see can you see it okay so that's how it looks how that's how it's supposed to look and I really like how this came out so now we're going to do the same thing to the next side so I am going to start pinning where the little notch is at. I'm going to meet it to the seam on the shoulder. And I'm actually going to just place one pin. Right there. And I'm going to pin, fold over the little shoulder and pin it, but I am not going to sew there. I just want to keep it in place. Okay, so now I'm going to start pinning from the bottom. And where I go get to the curve of the waist, I'll stop there. Okay, so I'm there to the curve of the waist, so I'm going to start pinning from the top, which is the shoulder blade right here, the shoulder and the blade right there, so I'm going to start pinning from up here, going down. I'm going to make sure that the both materials align together. Okay, so now here I am, and you can tell that this is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to start pinning from the center and then go outwards. Okay, so she's all pinned up. So basically what I did is I did it in three sections. I started from the bottom towards the waist and then I started from the shoulder to the shoulder blade and then I finished um, the waist area. Okay, so I'm gonna start sewing and I'm gonna sew again starting from the bottom. Okay, and there I go again. If you can see, I caught a little bit of the material and I wasn't sure, but I thought I did and sure enough I did. So I need to um, trim that part off, going to uh, nip it, and then I'm going to start again from the bottom and I'm going to uh, backstitch here 
so I can finish this off because there's no point of starting all over again when the rest of the seam is okay. So either way, let me go ahead and remove the excess pins. Carefully, I am going to remove that little seam with my scissor. Open her up a little bit. Pinner again. Okay, so let's do this again. See how she came out. Much better. I just need to... much better. It's just a little wrinkled by the shoulder area. So um but once you stuff it it won't show. But the seam is good. Once once you stretch it out, the seam looks good. So I love it. That's that's what I like to see. All right, so let me go ahead and trim out the excess threads here. Okay. 
there's none okay good so I'm going to start pinning again the other side which is the front of the dress form and she will be almost complete and just need to be stuffed so let's pin the top just one pin then I'm going to start pinning from the bottom So I'm going to pin from the bottom until I get to the waist area and that'll be my first section to pin. And I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, so now I already pinned from the bottom to the pre uh, waist area. So now I'm going to start pinning from the chest area right here before getting to the breast. Okay. So I just placed two pins right here on the chest area. So now we need to start pinning the breast area and the breast area is a little bit bigger than the back of the dress form. So we're gonna start, we're going to align the fabric and start from the middle, from the tip of the breast. So from the tip and then going outwards, making sure that it's aligned correctly and that there won't be any, um, any gathering. Okay. Okay. Now I have it all pinned up. So I'm going to start sewing from the bottom towards the top.
okay let's see how it looks and it looks fine it did not gather in the back good it looks good okay so let me remove the pins So let's go ahead and open her up because now we're ready to stuff. My hands are swollen. I can't put my hand in the form to open up the material. But um, it looks really, really good. I love it. So right now, it doesn't look like anything. Cause she still and it still needs to be stuffed, but um, it looks really good. I I like how it came out. So this is the front, and then this is the back, and it just needs to be stuffed. So that'll be my next segment. So stay tuned. Well, I'll show you how to stuff her. Hello. So, okay, we're going to start um, stuffing the dress form. So, what I am using to stuff it is um, this polyfill. Make sure you can see it. Let me see. Let me see. Listen, it's called polyfill polyester fiber fill, and um, this is really good for. Uh, uh, for pillows, dolls, stuff, toys, and crafts. So that's what I use. And it's also washable and non-allergenic. So that's what I use to um, stuff my dress forms with. So I'm just going to start stuffing. And the DIY dish does recommend that you really, really stuff it a lot. So um, you're going to see me stuffing. And I am going to... Um, Speed this up a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm stuffing her. I have I have stuffed the mannequin. So this is how it looks now. And now I'm going to start forming her. I'm going to flatten this section out right here. If you could tell, it's a little. It's not curvy right here. So I'm going to um, flatten this part right here. 
try to make it look like this. So she could show the chest area right here and then the tummy right there. So I'm going to push this a little bit down and um, give her some breasts. So I'm going to start forming her. I do do some pushing down and this stick comes inside the, the bag of polyfills. So I'm just going to start from the top, from the neck area and I'm going to push push it down and try to straighten this out. So I am trying to spread out the fiber fill to the shoulders so I can see. So if you can see this now, it doesn't look so um it doesn't look so poofy up here. So it's a little bit flatter. So I'm going to now form try to form the breast area. And I'm going to do that from the bottom. So you just have to keep forming, playing with the fiber fill to form her out. And this is just the way I do it until I see how it's looking. And I real I'm I'm liking how it looks right now, right here, this area, this area right there. I'm I'm liking that. So she looks it looks more like um it has a a chest. And um, or the breast and then the chest right here it's a little flat so that looks good and you said you have to take time with this so I'm gonna add some more fiber fill in the bottom and um, oh I need to get my glue gun but um, I'm going to add some more fiber fill in the bottom and then the pattern also has the base and it tells you cut one from one quarter inch form board and I have um, cardboard right here so I don't have foam board, board but I do have scraps of cardboard so that's what I'm using and then to cover this up because the material will be right here um i cut one from felt and i used um the coordinating color which is like a cream color uh, for the bottom of this so let me go ahead and add a little bit more fiber fill bottom and then I am going to add the cardboard Okay. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and stand this up. It won't stand up because it looks like it's going to need more fiber fill. Turn the stuff firm. And I'm looking at the front of it and making sure that um, she looks straight. a little bit more over here. Okay, all right, let me go ahead and get my glue gun. And while my glue is warming up, I'm going to play with the mannequin a little bit more or with the dress form. I'm going to add some stuffing over here on the neck area. And uh, I can't decide whether to add this bobble or this bobble. This is um, brown, but it's a little too small. It looks funny. It looks like it's got a small head. So um, this was actually clear and then I tried mixing alcohol inks orange and red to make it brown, but it still came out orange. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I think I'm just going to um, add gesso on it and then paint it brown and then um, to give it some gold tint on it um, I might use my um, how you call it um, gold foil or not gold foil but that's rub and buff that gold rub and buff because um, I'm not sure for my flower center, I, I'm not, I can't decide if to use this as my flower center or this as my flower center. I just can't decide. So, because um, I'm going to make a handmade flower. So that'll be another segment. So, all right, Tom, let me go ahead and see if this is heated up already. It's not yet. It's not done. So let me go ahead and... Um, Add a little bit of stuffing on her neck.
So you don't want to push it too in. You want it to stay on the neck section. Trying to raise up the material and just lightly, lightly push the fiber fill around the neck. Looks pretty stuffed. Let's see how it looks. Let me do a little bit more. think with this would be enough for the neck. There. There. Her neck is nicely stuffed. I like how she's looking. I really like how she looks. Great. All right, so hopefully, yep, my glue is ready. Go ahead and add the board. Push the filling in. So I'm going to add some glue right here. Push that in. Add some more glue on the other side. Now I'm going to start gluing around the sides. some more and then wherever there's extra material add some glue wherever it, it sticks out or it stands 
just add some more glue. myself a little bit. Okay, so this should fit there. It makes it look more finished. So I like how it looks. The shoulders look good. It has a waist. The bottom looks good. It's even. I love it. I love how it looks. So let me go ahead and cover um, this part up. So I'm going to add glue to the center, to the cardboard part. And then I'm going to add glue um, to the edge of the felt. done. So she's finished on the bottom. She stands nice and tall. Go ahead and add these little hairs in there. And um, she looks really nice. Now I am going to stand her on a candlestick because I am going to decorate her. But that's going to be in another video when I share the complete finished um, product so but you will see this is a candlestick that I picked up over at the Dollar Tree so I am just gonna stand her on it because I'm going to decorate everything so all right everyone thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and comment like it subscribe until next time bye